Hey beautiful people, all praises to the Most High. So the Father wants me to let you know, rewards or judgments are going to be given out double fold, seven fold, or hundred folds, and four folds. But I just didn't put four folds there because when I read that scripture, you're going to know it for yourself, right? So rewards, either you're getting rewarded, you're going to reap all the righteousness that you sown, double fold double restoration seven folds are a hundred folds and some people four folds so um let's get into it i'm gonna break these videos up so you can have like the double fold the seven fold and the hundred fold all right but it's rewarding season um rewarding if you're doing good you're gonna get your good reward if you're doing evil you're gonna get your you know your judgments of reward now Proverbs 11 and 18 the wicked works a deceitful work but to him that sow its righteousness shall be a sure reward so if you've been sowing your righteousness you have a reward from God either a double fold a seven fold a four fold or a hundred fold all right Hosea 10 and 12 sow to yourselves in righteousness reap in mercy break up your fallow ground for it is time to seek the Lord till he come and rain righteousness upon you the latter rain, the righteousness, God's going to pour out his righteousness, his reward on you. Now, 1 Corinthians 3 and 14. If any man's work abide which he has built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. So whatever you were working on, whatever good you've been doing, you're going to reap that good that you've sown. You're going to receive your reward from God. Hebrews 10 and 35. Cast not away therefore your confidence. Don't have lack of confidence. Don't have low self-esteem, which has great recompense of reward. You're going, you know, the recompenses. You're going to recompense. You're good. You're going to get what is sown to you for good. You're going to receive your. You're going to have your sure reward. All right, people of God. So don't lose, cast away your confidence. Um, Galatians six and seven to six and eight. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that he shall reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit of the spirit reap life everlasting. Now, double reward or double judgment. Now, for the people who are receiving double, God tells you in Isaiah 61 and 7, For your shame you shall have double, and for your confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land they shall possess the double, Everlasting joy shall be upon them. And Zechariah 9 and 12. Turn you to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. So God's telling you, he will render double unto you. So these are the people who are going to get a double full portion and restoration from God. All right. And Revelations 18 and 6. This is a double a reward of punishment double. Reward her even as she has rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works. In the cup which she has filled, fill it to her double. That's about the daughter of ba Babylon. Now, in Isaiah 40 and 2, it says, Speak ye comfortable to Jerusalem, the daughter of Jerusalem, daughter of Zion, and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplish that her iniquity is pardoned for she has received of the lord's hand double for all her sins so you can be recompensed double for your sins you can get a double punishment and you can that's your reward or you can get a double blessing you can get a double restoration so god's saying that the daughter of zion's warfare is over she completed what she had to do with God. Now, also in Lamentations 4 and 22. So this is showing you that God punishes people double as well. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. That's why he says he's going to reward the daughter of Babylon. That's the children of Edom, the daughter double even as she has rewarded you double on to her right
And that's why he tells her, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. And that's why he tells daughter Zion to stand up and put on her garments because he punished the daughter of Zion and her sins are accomplished. And he will no more do that to daughter Zion again, captivity. But the daughter of Edom, it's her double punishment is coming. All right.